I appreciate you joining. I hope that you are doing well. Ancient forms of currency that are edible. Money is great, but it didn't always exist. In modern times, we take coins and paper money for granted. In the ancient world, however, people assigned money value to a wide variety of foods. While most wouldn't be practical today, they still serve as a reminder of these ancient cultures and their richly diverse customs. Here are certain food items that people really used for currency before the invention of money. Salt has been used as a form of currency throughout history. And the word salary is derived from the Latin word salarium, Roman for money used to buy salt. In East Africa, through the Middle Ages, salt was the primary form of currency. Roman soldiers also received their salaries in salt. Parmigiano cheese was once used as currency. At one time, it was accepted as bank collateral in Italy. The vaults of a regional bank in Italy hold the pungent gold prized by gourmands around the world, 17,000 tons of cheese. There are two climate-controlled warehouses which hold about 440,000 wheels, worth $187 million. The cacao bean has been used as money. However, one problem with trying to match like with like is that not all cacao beans were the same. They differed in origin and quality, and therefore their values went up and down. So, for example, the market price is listed in a 1545 document from a city located in East Central Mexico indicates that 200 full cacao beans equal 230 sunken ones. This list of prices also includes one newly picked avocado was worth three cacao beans, but one fully ripe avocado was only one cacao bean. Tea bricks were used in Central Asia. Tea bricks were in fact the preferred form of currency over metallic coins for the nomads of Mongolia and Siberia. The tea can not only be used as money and eaten as food in times of hunger, but also brewed as allegedly beneficial medicine for treating coughs and colds. Up until Europe's world wars, tea bricks were still used as a form of edible currency in Siberia. With gold and silver scarcity being a problem for colonists in America, the Chesapeake colonies relied on tobacco as a currency. Cigarettes were used in the wake of devastation of many wars, like Europe's world wars. Tobacco was the most stable currency in the Chesapeake colonies and even had an exchange value in gold terms. In Egypt, bread and beer were used as a currency to pay slaves, tradesmen, priests, and public officials. In the late 1980s, residents used beer as a currency when inflation ravaged the country. Government workers would use their coupons for foreign beer, which they then resold on the market. I also seen a reference to turmeric spice wrapped in coconut fibers as once being used as a currency in the Salmon Islands. However, I was unable to find supporting documentation for this. I did find that Solomon Islanders value an item as money if it is passed between a number of people and is recognized and accepted as having a relatively set value. For centuries, food has been used as money, and these were some examples of that. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.